All right, coming up, we will talk with Doug Miles about the Thursday night games and the Friday night games. You're watching Friday Football Fever. All right, let's welcome in Doug Miles from Southwest Florida High School Game of the Week broadcast. He calls the Game of the Week every week. It's an internet stream. You can find him at Ustream.com or DougMilesMedia.com. Doug, thanks for joining us. No problem. I busy, think we, busy couple of nights. Busy couple of nights. Two nights. I think we got to start with IMG. They're nationally ranked now. They go in our Game of the Week and absolutely blow out this Miami Monsignor Pace team 61-0. to zero. Have you ever seen three straight uh, scores on special teams plays? Never, never saw that before. Chris Wanky's got his team looking like a college team. Yeah, I mean, they lose, octane. they lose the first game of the season, and since then it's just been all blowout yeah. wins for them. Something I, I, like uh, 150 points or something yeah. in the last three games going into tonight. They so. are outscoring yeah. their teams at a tremendous pace, just clearly a very yeah, well And we've talked about it before. We want to see them go up against the Venice or Manatee. We'd I mean, love to see them play see Venice that. or Manatee. <laughs> Not going to happen this season. No. Maybe next year. Speaking of Manatee, Thursday night game, Manatee goes into Riverview. This used to be a really good rivalry. Now, not so much. Manatee, a huge win on Thursday night. Yeah, I was a little surprised. I was going to do a beat them. I thought they'd do a little bit better than this one seven points. But you said, what, three uh, touchdowns in about a three minute span? Yeah, that Manatee. just kills a team, huh? Yeah. 49 to 7. Manatee will play Venice in the last game of the season, so that one should be interesting. Did a chance to do their playoff game a couple of years ago when they were in the same district, and Venice has lost quite a few in a row to them, but I think this year they'd have a chance. Charlotte back on track, a big win, 46-21 to 21 quickly over Fort Myers Riverdale tonight. Yeah, Vicki Walter's got the Trappins on track. And uh, Charlotte could be a team for sure to look out for in the playoffs, hitting their stride. Well, that'll do it for us. You've watched Friday Football Fever. We thank you for joining us. For Doug, I'm Adam Shadoff. Have a great weekend, everyone.